Hey, how are you today? Time for a real estate update with Market Stats. My buddy Romeo wanted to be part of the show today, so I let him uh, let him join us. And we've got another kitty nearby who might just uh, decide to make a cameo as well. So I'm Lisa Jones, broker and owner of Vantage Point Realty, providing Market Stats to you with data provided by Stellar MLS, which is the MLS that Realtors in the Central Florida marketplace used to do their job. Um, active listings for the week of 720, July 20th through the 26th, 350, up from 345 the week before. Pending sales took a dip, 425 versus 477 the week previously. Uh, sold listings, 323 down from 372 the week before. So these weekly numbers, um, you know, are going to vary a little bit here and there. Um, these dips and, and increases uh, don't necessarily reflect an immediate impact on the market. Uh, but, the, you know, it's good to follow what's been happening pending sales when this um, when this virus started. Um, everything, everything stopped for a couple of weeks and, um, then pending sales continued to rise and continued to rise. And when the numbers of COVID cases began to increase, pending sales took a dip, um, for several weeks in a row. Uh, they bumped back up last week, but took a little dive again, um, this previous week. So, um, that's one thing that I'm keeping a close eye on because pending sales, uh, really tell us where the market is going. Um, active listings tell us what the market is trying to command as far as prices. Pending listings indicate where the market is going and sold listings tell us where the market has been. So all good stuff to keep an eye on if you are interested in real estate and the real estate market. If you got questions about your neighborhood or buying or selling a home or anything in particular, I'd be more than happy to talk with you. Um, I hope you have a wonderful day. I hope you have a good week. Be well, be safe, and thank you so much for tuning in. Talk to you soon. Bye.